We're all struggling with something. Yeah, it's just so sweet in the chat. But I'm and being judged and I just so if you are ready, grab your mugs. Hello everybody! Welcome to my very very first YouTube vlog and I'm super nervous so I will be taking a lot of time editing about a bunch of stutters. I do want to kick off my YouTube channel with uh, with a chat video. I just want to talk about things and topics that I feel are important for every Muslim and the sisters specifically. Um, so yeah, I will put the little um, things in the, the little time box things where I will chat about each topic and there's a couple that I do have today. So, if you are ready, grab your mugs. Like the very first topic that I find very, very important, especially now, especially for Muslim women and for me particularly because of the hijab and the way that I dress and the platform that I do have is remaining humble and not judging anybody. Whether they're Muslim or not, we have to be careful with that. And it's not only because Allah SWT has told us that if you do judge somebody that you will not die until you go through that same thing that you judge them for, even though that is extremely scary to think about. It's the fact that judging other people, it hurts yourself in a way as well. And you're hurting everybody else that you're doing it too. This ties in with being self-aware and reflecting off of your actions and, and knowing yourself. I take that very, very seriously because I have been at the receiving end of being judged and, and just not nice things. And I don't want anyone to ever feel that pain from me, myself. I want to make sure that I never put somebody else through that. So being aware of yourself and your actions is extremely important as well as staying humble and not thinking you're better than anybody else because of the way that you dress or the way that you act or your religion. That is extremely important and that is one of the biggest tests because anyone who does die with a drop of arrogance in their heart will not be amongst the good people, which is why it's so, so, so important to constantly be self-aware and constantly, constantly check your actions and your intentions to be the best Muslim that you can be. When it comes to wearing the hijab and seeing other sisters that are Muslim, they don't wear the hijab. We should never think that they're bad people because of that. They're Muslim. We should never think bad of any sister or brother. At the end of the day, we're all Muslim. Everybody's going through it and everybody will come out a better person. We pray for the people that we see struggling. We pray for ourselves because we are not perfect. We're all struggling with something. Never judge. Okay, because it's very, very important to me. I've heard a lot of comments before where people say, she's not wearing the hijab, how can she be a good Muslim? The outside does not dictate what's on the inside. And that is so, so important to remember because even if you look the part, it does not mean that you are the best. You could be struggling with something too. There are amazing, amazing people out there. I've learned so much from so many people that look so different. Not only about wearing the hijab, but how much you know in terms of your deen and in terms of the Quran and just in general religion. I feel like a lot of the times with religion where you feel that you are better than people because of your religion, you're not better than anybody at the end of the day. And you saying that you are better than somebody because of your religion is wrong. And you're not following your religion if that's what you're saying. We have to always, always, always keep in mind our things that we say to people, the things that we think about people, and the things that we think about ourselves. And this ties into my next topic about self-love and how to be a kinder person in general. If you're judging other people, you are hurting yourself. You have something inside of you that's triggering you that you feel the need to point it out in somebody else. You need to fix that within yourself first. You're never going to help yourself by hurting other people. You're going to hurt yourself at the end of the day. So for me, I was never, I've never been that much of a I've always been a kind person, I just, it was never in this way where talking about people is wrong, judging people is wrong, judging people's looks are wrong. I feel like because of Islam, I've come to a point where it's it's crazy to even, even think about these things for a second. It's because Islam has helped me to love myself to a point where I'm constantly giving out kindness, even if I'm not treated the best way. Because the things I have went through, I feel have made me a kinder person. And I'm not talking about, you know, stressed or and a person with anxiety i'm talking about a person that that knows when to stay quiet that doesn't go looking for fights that doesn't go judging other people that sees everybody in a positive light because i would want that person in my life so i'm going to be that person for other people people are always saying oh i would love to have you as my friend i would love to i would love to speak with you and everything and that is the sweetest thing that i could ever hear honestly your comments are amazing and they're so nice and i'm so grateful to all of you but don't go looking for that person in your life you have to be that person in your life and you're, then you're going to attract that people in your life. It all starts with you at the end of the day. Make dua and ask Allah for help in these things because it does not come from your side. It is all from Allah SWT. And this ties into my next next topic about habits to adapt in order to become a better Muslim today. Okay? So obviously not judging people. 
another one staying quiet when you're upset i'm not talking i will i will my mouth is shut and people are like oh why are you so quiet i'm like i don't want to say anything to you right now i don't want to be mean let me be i feel like sometimes though people come looking for a fight when they see that but i gotta ignore it like i mm, you know but for me habits that have being aware that i am not knowledgeable on even like a quarter of things way less like i i don't know it all i don't know it all and there are so many people that i can learn things from everything is a learning opportunity for me i'm grateful for that and these are these are mindsets that you can adapt it's not just something that like you're bam like it's automatically like it comes with you it comes with the package no it's it's things that you adapt and it's things that come over time so always looking at things as a learning opportunity when it comes to things that are stressful in your life and and you feel like that you're struggling with something what is this trying to teach me instead of why am i going through this is the best mindset that you can have and it you learn so much from it you learn so much about yourself and about like everything and it's amazing and we should it, it takes practice like the next time that you see you're struggling with something ask yourself step back and say hey like what am i supposed to learn from this like what does this have to do with me as a person and my faith and my iman and i'm telling you like it's gonna come like that in seeing yourself thinking like that just like whenever like something happens like oh what do i got to learn from this and what is going to come out of this is going to help me become a better person it's 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 all like it's, it's a cycle it's like a they're all connected and it's beautiful mashallah right and then the final topic that i think is the most important to me is wearing the hijab in today's society and just the treatment that you get for wearing it hijab is not limiting it is very freeing not only with yourself and your spirit but just with everything in general like you get more respect you get more salams you just attract more good and more good people and it also how you are as a person but because you can do that either way but um combining the two is like it's like the perfect combo but so for me before I, the mindset that i had was well if i have to wear hijab why don't men have to wear hijab <laughs> and thinking of that kid it now it's definitely it's interesting to think about and i love to look back on these times because it just shows how much i've grown as a person and now i'm like i'm so grateful that i can actually cover up and that i love covering up because i can't imagine anything else and that's also with the lack of education and the lack of self-love and just not being comfortable with myself at all. I felt that I did not look good as a person all covered up and I'm comfortable with myself. I I don't even think about that anymore, alhamdulillah, obviously. My voice is starting to get a little scratchy. So at the end of the day, I did try to be as organized as I could with my thoughts, but I feel like that was a very like mumble jumble chat. Um, but yeah, I just I I needed a warm up to the camera, and this is my warm up video. I do hope this helped in terms of the subjects that I did talk about. And if you would be ever so kind to take the time out of your day to leave a comment on topics that I could talk about, uh, I would really greatly appreciate that because you guys are already so kind to take the time out of your day to, to comment on my posts and to like my posts and and to interact with me, and I love it and I'm so grateful for it. Um, so. Thank you for watching. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's such a user thing to say. Thanks guys. Thank you everybody for watching. Click the link in the bio. Ah. Yeah, I'm joking guys. But thank you for watching. And if you did watch this to the end, you have an amazing attention span. But honestly, I, this was fun for me because I just like to talk. Um, yeah, I did enjoy talking. Thanks for watching. <laughs>